In this video, I'm going to run through how you can do your year end process within Twinfield. So I've logged into my Twinfield account. Um, the first thing I want to check is that my period zero of the subsequent financial year is open so that Twinfield has a period that it can post my opening balances into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly on the left hand side here, I'm going to go into my settings. Uh, company settings and my periods. So the financial year that I would like to close is my 2019 financial year. Um, so I want to make sure that period zero of 2020 is currently open, which it is because it's ticked on, um, just so that I know that my opening balances have a period to be posted into when I run my financial year end. So that's fine. Um, now I'm going to go into my year end. So again, if I go to my left hand side navigation, I go down to financial professionals and I click onto my year end. So if it's the first time that you're running a year end in the system, um, you might want to just check the settings of your year end. Um, so where the year end journals are going to get posted. So if you click onto the settings option here, you'll just be able to see sort of the posting rules that are set up. Um, for your year end. So where your profit and loss brought forward is going to get posted. You can amend these um, just by clicking on them and re overriding the nominal code. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to go back to year end and I'm going to go to close year. So as I said, I want to close my 2019 financial year. Um, what I would recommend doing is first off, close it as provisional. So you can check that your brought forward figures are correct. Um, and then once you're happy with everything, you'll close it as final. So I'm going to leave that as provisional for now. I'm going to include all my provisional transactions and I'm just going to click close year. So Twinfield will be posting those journals to bring forward your opening balances and your extended trial balance for the next uh, subsequent financial year. Because I've run it as provisional, I can refresh that as many times as I like. So if I go back into 2019 and post um, some more transactions, for example, order adjustments, I would need to come back into my financial um, year end and I would need to rerun my year end in order to re refresh those brought forward balances. So I've got a I got a notification saying that was finished. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run my extended trial balance report um, from 2020, and I'm just going to run that just to check my opening balances are in there, which they are. Um, so if I want to look at the journal that Twinfield has posted, um, I just need to go to financial professionals. Um, transactions, provisional transactions, and here are the two or three year-end journals that Twinfield has posted as part of the year-end process. So these are uh, provisional at the moment because I've run my year-end as provisional. Uh, when I run my year-end as final, these will automatically finalise, so you don't need to worry about finalising those transactions. So now that I've checked that my opening balances are pulled through, um, I'm happy that my 2019 figures are absolutely final. They're not going to change and I'm not going to need to make any adjustments to that financial year. I want to close my year as final. So what I'm going to do, uh, I need to finalize every single transaction that is in 2019. So using this search option, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify um, that I want to pull through all transactions within the period range 2019-01 to 2019 period 12 and I'm just going to browse. So that's going to pull through all transactions within that period range and because I want to finalize everything in here I'm just going to press this green flag which will move all my markers underneath uh, the green flag for me and I'm just going to click process and OK. So now Twinfield is just working away finalizing all my transactions in 2019 so I'm just going to refresh uh, this page and as you'll notice, it's slowly going down. Um, so that is all my 2019 transactions finalized. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my year end option and I'm going to go back to close year. 
and this time I'm going to run it as final. So it gives you a little warning underneath here um, saying that it's not possible to undo this procedure. So it is absolutely critical that you have are you, you are completely happy with your numbers and you know they're not going to change and you're not going to need to post any adjustment journals within this financial year. Um, so I'm going to close this year now. And that didn't throw back any errors, so that suggests that everything has gone through fine. If I go back to my uh, provisional transactions now, you'll see that those year-end journals have now gone because they're no longer provisional and they, that year-end has been run as final. Now that I've done that, if I go back to my year-end again now, you'll see that the option to close the year is now gone to 2020 year-end. So I could now run my year-end for 2020 as provisional if I open my period zero in 2021. Um, and again, you could refresh that as many times as possible. But that's essentially how you'll do your year-end within Twinfield.